Before dawn broke on the streets of Mecca, a man known for his impressive strength and fierce opposition to an increasing faith faced a decision that would not only transform his own destiny, but also reshape the course of history. What led this unstoppable warrior, once an adversary, to become one of the most devoted protectors and influential leaders of the Islamic faith? Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Nasiha Studio. Today in this video we will be talking about the second greatest Khalifa of Islam, Umar ibn al-Khattab, also known as Hazrat Umar. In the early days of Islam, there was a man named Umar ibn al-Khattab who made a remarkable journey from being one of Islam's fiercest critics to becoming one of its greatest leaders. This man, known as Hazrat Umar, played a crucial role in the history of Islam. Once a strong opponent of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his teachings, Umar's heart changed completely after he embraced Islam. His story is not just about changing sides, it's about how a person can grow and change for the better. Hazrat Umar's life is filled with lessons on bravery, fairness, and the power of faith. As the second caliph or leader of the Muslim community after Prophet Muhammad's death, he was responsible for significant expansions and reforms that shaped the Islamic world. This introduction aims to explore the life of Hazrat Umar, highlighting the major events from his opposition to Islam to his leadership as a caliph. His story shows us how determination, guided by faith, can lead to profound changes that affect not just an individual but an entire civilization. Early life Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab's early life laid the foundations for the person he would become, marked by strength, leadership, and eventual profound spiritual transformation. Born around 583 CE in Mecca, in the tribe of Quraysh, Umar belonged to the Adi clan, known for their skills in arbitration and their role in Meccan society. His upbringing was typical of a young man in a leading tribe of Mecca, involving learning to read and write, which was a rare skill at the time, and becoming adept in the arts of trade and tribal politics. Umar was known for his strong physique, exceptional skills in wrestling and horse riding, and his straightforwardness. These qualities made him a respected, albeit feared, figure in his community. Despite his initial resistance to the message of Islam, these same attributes later contributed to his effectiveness as a leader of the Muslim community. Before embracing Islam, Umar worked as a merchant, which involved travel to regions such as Syria, exposing him to various cultures and religious practices. This exposure might have played a role in shaping his perspectives, making him a more effective ruler later in his life by understanding the complexities of managing a diverse and expanding Islamic state. His life before for Islam was also marked by a fervent dedication to the traditions and idols of Mecca. Umar's initial opposition to Islam was fierce, and he was known for his harsh treatment of Muslims before his conversion. This period of his life showcases the dramatic transformation he underwent after embracing Islam, highlighting a change that is often cited as one of the most significant turning points in Islamic history. This early part of Umar's life, full of strength, leadership potential, and resistance to change, sets the stage for the profound transformation he would undergo. His journey from a powerful opponent of Islam to one of its most influential and transformative leaders exemplifies the potential for change within an individual and the impact such a change can have on the world. Conversion to Islam the conversion of Hazrat Umar to Islam is one of the most pivotal moments in Islamic history, marking a significant turning point for the early Muslim community. Known for his strong opposition to Islam, Umar's embrace of the faith is a story of transformation and enlightenment. Path to Conversion Hazrat Umar's journey towards Islam began with his deep-seated animosity towards Muslims and their teachings. He was a staunch supporter of the Quraysh tribe's traditional polytheistic beliefs and saw the new monotheistic religion preached by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a threat to the social and economic structure of Mecca. His initial reaction to Islam was one of hostility and he was known for his harsh treatment of Muslims, including close family members who had converted the turning point. The actual moment of Umar's conversion is a tale often recounted with awe and reverence. Moved by a desire to end what he saw as the disruption caused by Islam, Umar set out one day with the intent to kill Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. However, on his way, he was confronted by a friend who informed him that his own sister, Fatima, and her husband, Sa'id ibn Zaid, had converted to Islam. Enraged by this news, Umar went to his sister's home, where he found them reciting the Quran. In the altercation that followed, Umar struck his sister, but when he saw her bleeding, his heart softened. Ashamed and curious, he asked to read the verses of the Quran they were reciting. The words he read were from Surah Taha, which moved him deeply, striking a chord 
Lord in his heart and leading to his dramatic and immediate conversion. Embracing Islam, realizing the truth and beauty of Islam, Umar sought the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to declare his submission to Islam. His conversion was a significant boost to the Muslim community as Umar was a prominent and influential figure in Meccan society. His acceptance of Islam was seen as a victory and provided the Muslim community with a newfound sense of legitimacy and protection. Impact of his conversion. Umar's conversion had a profound impact on the early Islamic community. Known for his strength and uncompromising nature, he became a fierce defender of the faith and its followers. His allegiance helped to strengthened the Muslim position in Mecca, and he played a crucial role in the subsequent growth and consolidation of Islam, both as a close companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and later as the second caliph. The story of Umar's conversion is not just a tale of personal transformation, but also a testament to the power of faith and the Quran's impact on individuals. His journey from one of Islam's most vehement opponents to one of its most committed defenders underscores the theme of redemption and the potential for change within every individual. Friendship with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Following his conversion to Islam, Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab's relationship with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, evolved into one of deep respect, loyalty, and close friendship. This bond was not only pivotal in Hazrat Umar's life, but also significantly influenced the early Muslim community and the spread of Islam. Mutual respect and loyalty. After embracing Islam, Hazrat Umar became one of Prophet Muhammad's most trusted companions. His conversion was a turning point, marking the beginning of his unwavering support for the Prophet and his mission. Hazrat Umar's strength, courage, and strategic acumen were invaluable assets to the Prophet, especially during the challenging times faced by the early Muslim community in Mecca. Hazrat Umar's respect for the Prophet was profound, and he was known for his strict adherence to the Prophet's teachings and guidance. He took the Prophet's advice seriously and implemented it in his life, demonstrating his deep faith and commitment to Islam. His loyalty to the Prophet was such that he was often at the forefront in defending him against his adversaries and ensuring his safety. A close consultative relationship, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, valued Hazrat Umar's wisdom and often consulted him on important matters concerning the Muslim community. Hazrat Umar's counsel was sought not only because of his sharp intellect and sound judgment, but also because of his sincere and straightforward manner. He was never afraid to speak his mind, a quality that the Prophet appreciated even when his opinions were in dissent. This consultative relationship was a testament to the trust and esteem between the two men. Hazrat Umar was part of a close circle of advisors to the Prophet, including Abu Bakr Siddiq and Ali ibn Abi Talib, who played critical roles in decision-making and in navigating the complex socio-political landscape of the time. Hazrat Umar's role in the early Muslim community. As a close companion of the Prophet, Hazrat Umar played a pivotal role in the early Muslim community. He was instrumental in the expansion of Islam, participating in key battles and negotiations that shaped the course of Islamic history. His contributions were not limited to martial efforts. He also played a significant role in the administrative and societal reforms instituted by the Prophet. The friendship between Hazrat Umar and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a remarkable example of how faith and mutual respect can forge strong bonds that have a lasting impact. Hazrat Umar's transformation from a staunch opponent of Islam to one of its greatest champions and a close friend of the Prophet is a powerful narrative of redemption and commitment to one's beliefs. This relationship between Hazrat Umar and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, underscored the importance of companionship, loyalty, and counsel in Islam. It serves as a model for Muslims, illustrating the virtues of steadfast faith, integrity, and the value of constructive, honest counsel. Hazrat Umar as a Caliph After Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, left this world and the subsequent passing of Abu Bakr Siddiq, the first Caliph, Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab was chosen to lead the Muslim community as the second Caliph. His tenure, which lasted for about a decade, 634-644 CE, is often cited as a golden period of Islamic history, characterized by significant expansions, administrative reforms, and the establishment of justice and public welfare systems, leadership and expansion. Under Hazrat Umar's leadership, the Islamic Empire witnessed unprecedented territorial expansion. He successfully led campaigns that resulted in the conquest of the Persian Empire and significant parts of the Byzantine Empire, including Syria, Egypt, and Palestine. 
These conquests not only spread the influence of Islam, but also laid the foundation for the rich cultural exchange that would define the Islamic Golden Age. Hazrat Umar was known for his strategic military acumen, but perhaps more remarkable was his emphasis on the just treatment of conquered peoples. He established policies that ensured the protection of civilian lives, property, and religious freedoms, earning him respect even among those who were defeated. Administrative Innovations One of Hazrat Umar's lasting contributions to the Islamic world was his establishment of an efficient administrative structure. He introduced a system of provinces and districts governed by appointed officials known as governors or wali, which helped in the efficient management of the rapidly expanding empire. These governors were chosen for their integrity and capability, irrespective of their social standing or lineage, emphasizing merit over pedigree. He also implemented a public treasury system, Bait al-Mal, to manage the state's finances, including the zakat, charitable giving, which was used to support the poor, the elderly, and other needy members of the society. This system laid the groundwork for a welfare state where social justice and the well-being of the citizens were of paramount importance. Judicial and Social Reforms Hazrat Umar is also credited with establishing a judicial system that separated judicial and executive powers, ensuring a fairer administration of justice. He appointed judges, qadis, known for their knowledge, piety and impartiality, emphasizing the importance of justice in governance. He instituted several social reforms, including the development of public infrastructure such as roads, bridges and canals, which facilitated trade and improved communication across the empire. Hazrat Umar also emphasized the importance of education and knowledge, setting up schools and encouraging scholarship. His impact. Hazrat Umar's tenure as caliph is marked by his remarkable vision, leadership and dedication to the principles of Islam. His reforms and policies not only strengthened the Muslim community, but also laid the foundations for the flourishing of a civilization known for its contributions to science, literature and culture. His legacy is a testament to the qualities of a great leader, justice, compassion and a commitment to the welfare of his people. Hazrat Umar's rule exemplifies how leadership, grounded in ethical and moral principles, can bring about transformative change and leave a lasting impact on the world. The legacy left by Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab. Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab's legacy is one of enduring influence and profound respect across the Islamic world and beyond, shaping not only the trajectory of Islamic governance and law, but also setting a benchmark for leadership, justice, and administrative acumen. His tenure as the second caliph of the Muslim Ummah left indelible marks on the Islamic State, establishing foundational systems and policies that have been admired and studied for centuries, justice and rule of law. Hazrat Umar is celebrated for his unwavering commitment to justice, often epitomized in stories that highlight his personal involvement in resolving disputes and ensuring that justice was accessible to all, regardless of their status or wealth. His establishment of the judiciary and his insistence on the accountability of governors and officials, including himself, underscored his belief that the rule of law was paramount. His legacy in promoting justice is often cited as a golden standard for rulers in Islamic history. Administrative innovations and governance. His innovative administrative policies, including the division of the Islamic empire into provinces, the establishment of a public treasury, Bait al-Mal, and the introduction of a land revenue system, were groundbreaking. These measures not only streamlined governance, but also significantly improved the efficiency and fairness of tax collection and public spending. Hazrat Umar's emphasis on consultation, shura, in governance processes, also set a precedent for inclusive decision-making. Social welfare and public works. Hazrat Umar's contributions to social welfare and public infrastructure laid the foundations for a prosperous and equitable society. His introduction of social welfare programs ensured that no citizen of the Islamic State lived in extreme poverty. The construction of roads, canals, and the establishment of guest houses, Ribat, facilitated trade, communication, and helped in the rapid spread of Islam. 
His concern for the well-being of his people is reflected in policies that continue to inspire contemporary notions of welfare and social justice, expansion and cultural exchange. Under his leadership, the Islamic Empire expanded significantly, encompassing large parts of the Byzantine and Persian empires. These conquests were not merely military achievements, but also facilitated the exchange of cultures, ideas and knowledge between the Islamic world and other civilizations. This period of expansion under Hazrat Umar's rule significantly contributed to the later flourishing of the Islamic Golden Age, where science, arts and literature thrived. Legacy in Islamic Thought Hazrat Umar's impact extends deeply into Islamic thought and jurisprudence. His actions, decisions and governance style are often studied and cited by scholars as exemplary. His rigorous adherence to the Quran and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, set a precedent for Islamic governance, law and personal conduct, a model of leadership. Above all, Hazrat Umar's legacy is that of a leader who embodied the qualities of justice, humility and dedication to the service of his people. His leadership style, marked by accessibility, accountability and concern for the common good, remains a model for leaders in various capacities, both within and outside the Islamic world. The enduring respect and admiration for Hazrat Umar across different cultures and eras testify to the universal appeal of his principles and the lasting impact of his leadership. His legacy continues to inspire those who seek to emulate his commitment to justice, welfare and effective governance. Special events associated with Hazrat Umar. Now let us discuss some of the generous and special events of Hazrat Umar, which showed how generous, humble, smart he was as a person and also as a caliph. Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab's tenure as caliph is replete with numerous events that underscore his generosity, justice and deep concern for the welfare of his subjects. These events not only highlight his exemplary leadership, but also his profound humanity and compassion. Here are some notable examples. The year of famine, Amal Ramadan. During his caliphate, a severe famine hit the Arabian Peninsula, known as the year of famine, Amal Ramadan. Hazrat Umar demonstrated exceptional leadership and personal sacrifice during this crisis. He ordered the distribution of food from the Beit al-Mal, public treasury, and personally oversaw the relief efforts. Hazrat Umar himself endured the same hardships as the people, refusing to eat meat or butter until the famine was alleviated. His actions during this period left a lasting impression of a leader deeply connected with his people's suffering. Nightly Patrols Hazrat Umar is famed for his nightly patrols in Medina to ensure the safety and well-being of his people. Disguising himself, he roamed the streets to observe the conditions of his citizens firsthand and to address their needs without the formalities and barriers that might prevent them from approaching him during the day. One famous incident during these patrols was when he heard the cries of children from a tent. Upon investigating, he learned that they were hungry and their mother had no food. Hazrat Umar immediately went to the Bait al-Mal, gathered food and supplies, and personally delivered them to the family, ensuring they were fed before leaving. Justice for all. Hazrat Umar's commitment to justice is illustrated in the incident with the Egyptian Copt. The son of Amr ibn al-As, the governor of Egypt, had beaten a Copt during a race. When the Copt complained to Hazrat Umar, the Caliph summoned both the governor and his son to Medina. After hearing the case, Hazrat Umar gave the Copt a stick and allowed him to beat the governor's son in retribution. This act underscored the principle that all individuals, regardless of their social status or ethnicity, were equal under the law. Simplicity and humility. Despite being the ruler of a vast empire, Hazrat Umar lived a life of simplicity and humility. He wore patched clothes and lived in a modest house, emphasizing that a leader should live not above, but among his people. This simplicity was not just a personal choice, but a public statement about the role of leaders and the distribution of wealth within the society, establishment of the Diwan. In a move to ensure the welfare of Muslims, Hazrat Umar established the Diwan, a register for the distribution of salaries to soldiers and stipends to the needy. 
including widows and orphans. This system ensured that the wealth from the expanding Islamic territories was redistributed to support the well-being of the entire Muslim community, reflecting his commitment to social welfare and justice. These events and actions of Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab not only highlight his exceptional qualities as a leader, but also his profound generosity, care for his people, and commitment to the principles of Islam. His legacy continues to inspire Muslims and non-Muslims alike for his governance, justice, and humanitarian values. The life of Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab, from his early days in Mecca to his transformative leadership as the second caliph of the Islamic empire, is a profound testament to the enduring impact of faith, integrity, and visionary governance. His journey from a fervent opponent of Islam to one of its most committed defenders and a key architect of its early expansion exemplifies the power of personal transformation and steadfast conviction in one's beliefs. Hazrat Umar's leadership was marked by remarkable achievements in administrative reforms, social welfare, and the establishment of justice, which not only consolidated the Muslim community, but also laid the foundations for a flourishing civilization. His innovative governance, including the establishment of the public treasury, the judicial system, and the administrative division of the Islamic State, demonstrated an unparalleled foresight and understanding of statecraft. Beyond his contributions to the Islamic State's expansion and administration, Hazrat Umar's legacy is immortalized in his character and personal virtues. His commitment to justice, coupled with his humility and concern for the welfare of his people, set a standard for leadership that remains relevant across ages and cultures. His actions and decisions reflect a deep empathy and fairness, serving as a model for just and moral governance. The stories of his generosity, his nightly patrols to check on his subjects, his equal treatment of all under the law, and his discipline, despite the wealth and power at his disposal, continue to inspire admiration and respect. These aspects of his life highlight the essence of Islamic leadership and the importance of responsibility, compassion, and the common good. Hazrat Umar ibn al-Khattab's life and legacy offer timeless lessons on the transformative power of faith the importance of justice and welfare in governance, and the impact of visionary leadership. His story is not just a chapter in Islamic history, but a beacon of guidance on righteousness, governance, and human compassion. As we reflect on his contributions, it becomes clear that Hazrat Umar's legacy transcends time, continuing to inspire and guide generations in the pursuit of justice, leadership, and service to humanity. This wraps up our deep dive into the fascinating story and legacy of Umar ibn al-Khattab. Thanks for joining us to learn about one of the key figures in Islam. If you found this video enlightening or inspiring, please hit the like button, share it with others, and subscribe for more content that celebrates the heritage of Islam. Your support means a lot in spreading important narratives and insights. We pray that Allah fills your life and those of your family with peace joy and success.